Good morning, children. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to read to you the Bible story of the Last Supper. It's part of Holy Week, and I think it's really important that you hear the Bible stories of the events of Jesus' life. Without knowing what happened during this time, without the mystery of this week that we cannot fully explain, we cannot fully experience the joy on Easter morning when we learn that Jesus has risen. So let me read to you our Bible story. Of, it's titled, Jesus Eats the Passover Meal with His Disciples. And I'm going to also read to you The Last Supper, which you can read along with me if you'd like. You can find it, find it in the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 17 through 30. So get your Bible, look it up in the New Testament. It's Matthew 26, verses 17 through 30. Now, while you find your Bible, let me remind you that last Sunday we learned about Palm Sunday. Remember the day that Jesus came into Jerusalem riding on a donkey? People were so excited to see Jesus. They had heard so much about Jesus, about his teachings and the healing of the sick. And when he entered Jerusalem, people waved palms in the air and shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Do you remember this picture I showed you? This is what it just might have looked like when Jesus entered into Jerusalem. See all the people waving their palms? They were so excited to see Jesus. Remember when we would line up in front of the church with our palms? We'd line up, and then when it was time, we would go into the church waving our palms while the people in church sang the Hosanna song. I miss that. But I hope that you picked up some of the palms that I had for you so that you could wave them on Palm Sunday. Well, Jesus knew what was going to happen to him when he entered Jerusalem. But the people in Jerusalem didn't know. And some people weren't happy that Jesus was coming into Jerusalem. They just didn't understand who Jesus was. Well, that was Palm Sunday. Today, I want to read to you the Bible account of Jesus sharing his last meal with his disciples. So, let's read together first Matthew 26, verses 17 through 25. So, if you found it in your Bible, read along with me, all right? My glasses on. Jesus eats the Passover meal with his disciples. On the first day of the festival of thin bread, Jesus' disciples came to him and asked, Where do you want us to prepare the Passover meal? Jesus told them to go to a certain man in the city and tell him, Our teacher says, My time has come. I want to eat the Passover meal with my disciples in your home. They did as Jesus told them and prepared the meal. When Jesus was eating with his 12 disciples that evening, he said, One of you will surely hand me over to my enemies. The disciples were very sad, and each one said to Jesus, Lord, you can't mean me. He answered, one of you men who has eaten with me from this dish will betray me. The Son of Man will die, as the scriptures say. But it's going to be terrible for the one who betrays me. The man would be, would be better off if he had never been born. And Judas said, Teacher, you surely don't mean me. That's what you say, Jesus replied. But later... Judas did betray him. So here's a picture, and I, I know you remember seeing this in church in our Sunday school. This is the picture of what we have that shows what the Last Supper might have been like. See, they were at this big, long table, and all of the 12 disciples were there, Jesus in the center. And this was the Last Supper. He shared with his disciples. So 
So let me continue with our Bible story. It's titled, The Last Supper. During the meal, Jesus took some bread in his hands. He blessed the bread and broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body. Jesus picked up a cup of wine and gave thanks to God. He then gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and drink it. This is my blood, and with it God makes his agreement with you. It will be poured out so that many people will have their sins forgiven. From now on, I am not going to drink any wine until I drink new wine with you in my Father's kingdom. Then they sang a hymn and went out to the Mountain of Olives. So that's the story of the Last Supper. Now, do you remember what happens in our church when we have communion? It's called Communion Sunday. It's when the people in our church take the bread and the wine from our pastor, Pastor Meadows. And as a congregation, we remember Jesus. So tomorrow, I will read to you the Bible lesson of Jesus' betrayal and Jesus' arrest. It is upsetting to hear what happens to Jesus. But we must walk through the sadness in order to get to the joy that Easter brings. So come again tomorrow to hear more of Jesus' final earthly days. And remember to come to the children's craft bin and get the crafts that I have for you to do. I think you'll enjoy them. The bin is under the stairs of the Todd building on the Minnetonka side. So come and get some supplies and make an Easter craft. So until I see you again, may the peace of God be with you. Bye-bye.